Recent reports from both FURFAS uh, and the National Competitiveness Council uh, has put the question of rollout of high-speed broadband at the top of the infrastructure priorities in this country. And in terms of growth, in terms of entrepreneurship, in terms of jobs, uh, there's no doubt uh, but uh, that enhanced uh, accessibility uh, to industrial strength broadband uh, or optimum broadband uh, is absolutely imperative and the government regards it, uh, regards it as such. Now, adoption of broadband is not what it should be or we wouldn't be here. Um, and what we have here is a, a unique experiment in partnership uh, between the industry uh, and government. Uh, I should say before I go on to explain that, that considerable progress has been made, and I think it's important to acknowledge that. Considerable progress has been made in recent years. Uh, internet subscribers have gone up from something like 437,000 five years ago to 1.65 million uh, today and rising. Uh, and I, I think it's important to acknowledge that. Somebody just gave me the Akamai, if that's the correct way to pronounce it, can uh, report that tracks internet usage. And Ireland, uh, Ireland holds its own uh, in, that overall, in that overall framework. And indeed, if you look at the uh, performance year on year, at the end of 2011, there had been something like a 39% increase, uh, which is very significant. Industry has uh, assured the, uh, the department and myself that over 50% of the population will have access uh, by 2015 to uh, at least 70 megabits, or between 70 megabits and uh, 100. Uh, and, you know, that's significant, uh, significant in the context that some 700 households uh, already have access to speeds of uh, 100 megabits uh, through cable. Uh, the next category is probably a bit more problematic in the sense that it's probably somewhere between 20 and 35% will have access to better than 30 megabits by 2018. And then we have the bottom tier, uh, which may be as low as 15%, could be as high as 30%, uh, where only basic broadband is available. And we have to address that factor as well. Now, the report highlights that uh, despite the rollout of basic and, and high-speed uh, services, uh, adoption isn't what it should be. And one of the areas that we focused on uh, is uh, SMEs, uh, where some 20,000 SMEs as of today are not online, and 21% of adults uh, have never used the internet. So the challenge, therefore, uh, that the task force conf uh, confronted was how to make it easier for the private sector to invest in continuing rollout of broadband, how to encourage citizens and businesses uh, for better uptake, and uh, how to address those infrastructure deficits. If I could point to the significance in economic terms of the internet, estimated to be of the order of 3.4% as it stands, but with a European average of some 6%. It obviously is a hugely significant factor in our economy, and competitiveness in this century is really about uh, having the best and optimal broadband available. That will determine competitiveness in the, in the 21st century like electricity did in the last century or uh, railways in the previous century. So if I could just mention uh, before I sit down and draw your attention to the, uh, to the focus of the working groups, 
the first working group addressed this question of targets for broadband rollout. And I think it's very important that the country gets that one right. After that, a working group looked at the particular issue of demand stimulation. And as I've instanced in the case of online shopping, the case of e-government, and several other areas, there are tremendous possibilities there. The removal of barriers was a big factor with the industry. The disparity of conditions, for example, throughout the local authorities. The engagement that we had with the City and County Managers Association was very helpful in that regard. And, uh, you know, there, there, there is a lot of work to be done there and that can be done with considerable return for those particular, uh, particular counties. This has been, I think, in conclusion, a very, valuable, uh, a very valuable exercise for government and for the department. The quality of the engagement and interaction uh, with the companies, uh, public and private, uh, have, has been immensely valuable. Uh, it's not something that had happened before. Uh, and, you know, the fact that uh, the most senior people in the respective companies were prepared to devote uh, their personal time uh, to making uh, a quality input, uh, I think, uh, is immensely valuable. And I would like to thank each of them uh, who gave of their time uh, uh, towards that project. I think it has greatly helped the key people in the department, uh, led by Catherine Licken. Uh, it has greatly helped them in terms of their capacity to assess uh, what is required now. And I referred earlier to the fact that this is phase one of our announcements in this respect. Uh, phase two uh, is the announcement by government of its national plan for broadband. Um, we propose to spend the month of May having published this task force report today, we propose to spend the month of May in throwing that document open for uh, responses, open for consultation, engagement with SMEs, engagement with academics or others who want to make an input. And I'm required to go back to government by July uh, with uh, a national plan for broadband uh, so that you know, we have some three, four weeks uh, after the conclusion of consultation uh, to bring that plan back. And um, therefore, I'm inviting uh, today um, input and response and feedback from whomsoever has an interest or talent or skill or knowledge uh, in this area. Uh, as a result of which, I think government will have the capacity uh, to produce a plan that is evidence-based uh, and that is up-to-date uh, on, on developments.